But the name changing actually started almost right away. There was some assimilation going on. My grandfather, who was named Shia, now called himself Sam. My grandmother, whose full name was Bela Nesha, I think they called her Nesha, changed her name to Nettie. Nettie? I mean, it was like the only Nettie I ever heard of was like in Rodgers and Hammerstein's Carousel. She was a character in Carousel. Uh, my father's uh, younger sister, whose name was Mirla, her name was changed to Mary. Uh, I think my Aunt Yetta's name was, was at least on the ship, ship's map, it was Ita or whatever, and she changed to Yetta. And I, also, I had a final, they had a child, by the way, who was born in America that very year, and her name was actually Rose. Okay, she was called Rose. Okay, she was the only child who was actually born in America. My father's name was Israel. And at some point, he decided to call himself Irv. I don't, I never asked him. I don't, I've tried to ask people. Everyone called him Irv. My mother called him Irv. I asked his, uh, my Aunt Rose, can I her, is 90 years old. I asked her the other, the other month, uh, do you remember when my dad called himself Irv, and she said, she doesn't know, she can't remember, because she always called him Irv. But he never changed his name officially. So all official correspondence went to, to Israel, okay? And at work, his place of work for all those years, all his, his fellow employees called him Iz, or Izzy, or whatever it was, okay? It's very interesting.